Chantal's about to go to the mosque for the first time. Or so she says, first time. I realize that this one is, is a bit of a trap, a little bit of bait video. So understand that I will not be going anywhere near as hard as I would like to. It's Hanukkah, y'all. Here we go to the mosque. Okay, we're going to the mosque. But first, of course, her favorite meal. It's like Alicia's is but first coffee. Hers is like, but first, like nervous eating. Here we go. Tonight for dinner, we're having our favorite frishwada. You saw the video. Well, I think our first video on our couple's channel here. Match boost. Mm, let's unpack it. Okay, that food looks way better than the last time they got it. Bam, I would fuck up that chicken. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Very nice. Too, too many little cups on the side. I don't like all that plastic waste. And what is up with always that weird little bit of greens? Not my thing. Oh, for fuck's sake, there's a Mountain Dew. He's so predictable. Uh, <laughs> what a loser. Hey guys, so I'm here checking out a mosque. I haven't checked one out since I've been in the Middle East, particularly I'm in Kuwait. I haven't checked out a mosque yet. I did learn a lot about mosques today, which is part of the reason I removed the niqab. It's actually not a religious requirement like I thought. It's more of a cultural um, thing. It is part of modest dress. So women who wear it typically do do it for culture and a mixture of religion. So she didn't realize why she was putting it on. It's not part of the religion like I thought. So you're just like doing and thinking about it later. Okay, well, at least that's consistent. Hmm? Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. Favorite meal? Those don't look like that, she said. It just depends on your interpretation of modest dress as well. But I need to learn more about Islam before I can make these decisions. You guys know I'm impulsive. So I did put a community post explaining that, which is why you see me without a niqab today. I do it out of complete respect and I just wanna be fully aware of everything. So typically the mosque is divided into two parts, side for men, side for women. This allows people to pray comfortably without any distractions. It's very important as a ritual to cleanse, perform ablution or wudu. No, 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 this is too, this is too bait. This is too bait. She's talking to us about religious cleansing and I can't even make the joke about her smelling like bougies and being filthy because what that's gonna be bait. Did I really just sort of make the joke without saying it? Yes. <laughs> Blue Hunter, thank you for the super chat. Do the Arabic word is wudu, which is a cleansing and purification before you enter the mosque and perform salah prayer. Women are required to dress modestly, typically to wear a hijab. Men have a dress code as well. They're asked to dress in a clean outfit that is loose fitting, doesn't show the, the form of your body. Same thing with women, which is why I wear the abaya. So. Let's go and see the mosque. If there are people praying, I will not talk. I will talk low and respectfully when I enter the mosque. There is a very large mosque in Kuwait City that we will explore another time. Here we have a water drinking station, some clean water provided. All right, let's go in. I'm nervous for some reason. Is she there alone? Interesting. Hmm. Now, yeah, okay, okay. There's a different entrance for men and women, but... She was outside. I didn't see any salad. Does he just huh, drive her there and be like, hey, I'll be outside when you're done. Weird. She's allowed to film inside. I like that she said not if there's people inside praying, I won't film. She goes, if there's people inside praying, I won't speak, but I'll just silently film. That is creepy as all hell. Another water station right here for drinking. A wash one. A washing station. You are required to remove your footwear and place it here before entering the main prayer area. My sketchers. Hmm. 
And she opens the door to the mosque with her left hand. I guess we're not that, we haven't leveled up to those kind of like things yet, but salad really should teach you, girl. The carpet is very soft. Very warm in here. Not air conditioned. I thought these were prayer rugs at first, but it sounds like... It's true. I'm dumb. I should have like explained a little bit. Uh, um, historically, historically, it's it's like said that you don't do certain things with your left hand and you do certain things with the right hand because you you clean your ass with the left hand. So the left hand is considered not clean. So, for example, if um, an Arab meets you and extends their left hand to shake your hand, it's an insult. You know, things like that. So to go to a mosque, which is supposed to be such a, like, pure and clean place, and to open it with the left hand, it's like, God, she's not even in there yet, and she's already, I mean, that was just so peak Chantal. Explain that they're actually fragrances and clothing to cover your body. This is the main prayer area. Yeah, you eat with the right hand, you wipe your poop with the left hand, you know? I have some stands here for the Quran. Those are nice. And you see how important cleanliness is in Islam. Cleanliness is very important here um, in Islam. It's actually made me update my own hygiene routine uh, for the better as well. There's some speakers on the wall. Does anyone believe that shit? I mean, you can believe that shit if you believe, <laughs> want to believe that shit. I don't believe that shit for the, at all. S.E., thank you for the super chat. <laughs> That's a good question. Maybe he's waiting for her right outside. He's like, I'll tie your shoes for you when you come back, honey. Sweetie, so cute. Loudspeakers. Where the imam can be heard reciting prayer during the five different times a day. Five times a day, the imam will recite prayer. And I'll put the names of them here for you. And the different times. So while I'm here, I'm actually going to perform prayer. I don't really know an Arabic prayer. Wait, what? Uh, okay. While she's there, she's going to pray. So she's already converted? Hmm. How would she know how to pray? And there's no one there who's going to be guiding her prayer. Weird. Prayer. I know a little bit, so I will do what I can in my heart and in my head. So let's go perform Bodu. We'll return. For example, okay, and this is like, I'm not trying to like, you you religion how you want to relige, but until you would learn, for example, if they really were husband and wife and he's practicing, they would pray together at home and she would learn, you know, she doesn't know, like, this is so weird. Oh, so fucking weird. Holy crap. I'm so uncomfortable watching this because I feel like I can barely speak. You know what I mean? <sighs> you got to complain on a line tonight, y'all. Mara Lee, thank you for the super chat. She's touring a mosque when it's not time for prayer. She's playing tourist in an empty mosque. If she was there to pray as a guest or, yeah, she would be greeted by the women. Right? Right? Anyway, there's, this is just, I can't say too much. <clears throat> this does feel disrespectful to me. It seems performative to me. If you really, really were learning about this new religion and you're going to perform your first ever uh, prayers at the mosque, wouldn't that be uh, like maybe a little sacred moment between you and God? Would you really, really have to be streaming or filming that for your content? And where's your husband? Fucking weird. All the all is weird to me. Ain't she sweet? Thank you for the super chat. God, I cannot reveal my skin to you. What the hell did that say? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I cannot reveal my skin to you 
So I cannot show you some of the voodoo steps. Ma'am, we've seen your fupa balls and everything else. What can't you show us? Your fucking hands and your face? Oh my God. Oh, her feet. Your, your fucking Funko baby feet are in my intro. We've seen it all before. God damn it. You must cover your entire body, except your face and hands. So you must wear socks. You must cover your up to your wrists. And I have my hijab, which is sufficient. Let's go pray. Touching the phone after you clean yourself erases what you just did. The phone is not clean. You, it, she's now going in as if she didn't even clean herself, by the way. Touches her shoes. So one thing. Are you, wait a minute. No, no, I couldn't have seen that, right? I must have just had a mini stroke. Wait a minute. Did she just blur out her ass? Oh my God, she pixelated her ass. That wasn't a stroke. That really just happened. Oh, we're going to have to see that again. The modest woman. She just, she pixelated her ass. Wait a minute. Look at it. We're watching it again. That is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. What is NASA? We need to zoom in. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh my God. I can't believe she did that. That is the dumbest thing. Do you think we can't see it? It's taking up three quarters of the fucking screen right now. Girl, you can see the whole shape of your, what are you doing? Add this to the intro. <laughs> We could add this to the intro. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. This, this is maybe the dumbest edit I've ever seen in my life. And I love it. Moxie Media, thank you for the super chat. So one thing I have trouble understanding is which direction I'm supposed to pray in. I did send a picture to Salah and he showed me to pray and I'll show you the direction. Muslims pray in the direction of Mecca, the holiest city in the Middle East, which is in Saudi Arabia, where the Kaaba is. So, let's go. Yeah, the enlightened one is teaching us the direction to Kaaba, but she doesn't know it. She doesn't know how to face Mecca, but she's teaching us about the Kaaba and like where Mecca and so, okay, okay. <clears throat> I, I can't believe what I just saw. I got, uh, I could have lived a million lives. I, I never would have thought in my entire life. This is Chantal Sorrell. This is last year's crackhead Olympian gold medalist. Fupa ball queen. Uh, CPAP rescue. B&E dress. Fucking false police reporting high out of her fucking skull and here we are six weeks later not even okay okay <laughs> yeah how come she didn't pixelate her ass this time weird la 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 lee thank you for the super chat girl she watched a youtube video you're probably right <laughs> So I am still learning a lot about Islam and one of the things I really need to learn how to do is to properly perform the prayer five times a day. So I did find something that helped teach me how to pray and here is a step by step of what you're supposed to do to perform the prayer uh, properly. So I oh, Cosmic Glow Up, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. And uh, it feels really funny to say this over the 
praying woman, but happy Hanukkah to everybody who's celebrating. I did do some of the steps properly, but some of them I didn't do quite right. So I'd rather put myself on camera when I have it down pat to show you properly how I perform prayer. Thank you. Why did she just pixelate her whole body? She forgot to pixelate before. Oh, she fucked up. She fucked up. Because before she forgot to. Oh, weird. Uh, yeah, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, wait. Grandma Spud, are you allowed to film in a mosque? I'm sure she got permission to do this. It's impossible that she didn't. If she got permission, yes. So I'm not a traditional Muslim. And I saw. Did you really feel the need to point that out to us? We'll have a lot to learn. But I do respect all cultures, all religions. And most importantly, I praise God and thank God every day for the life I have. And this has been a very peaceful, wonderful place to do it. Alhamdulillah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next video. Okay. It's over. I'm keeping the commentary to an absolute minimum on that one. Um, again. If this was genuine and she was really doing this with genuineness behind it, I would be all for this. There's a lot of positive that she could take from, well, any religion really, but Islam, like this is where she's going. There's a lot of positive cleanliness, uh, the, the brotherhood and like sisterhood aspect, the, the community of it. You know what I mean? There's a lot of good. The, the, the um, charity, I have, I would have absolutely nothing to say. There's a reason a lot of people go to religion in their lives when they're, you know what I mean? When they're going through shit and stuff, it can often, yeah, it helps people get on a track, stay on a good track. So, but this is clearly not being done with anything genuine. I have no respect for this. This makes me feel uncomfortable. This makes me feel like when the rages start about him, all of this is going to be so fucking sacrilegious. Because we're going to completely understand. I mean, we sort of already understand what's going on here. But when she's going to fess up to like, and he did this and he did, 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 did and she starts her bullshit, we're going to understand just how performative this is.